Fort Stewart is you know, the largest prescribed fire program, the most productive prescribed fire program probably in North America. I mean, they're, they're averaging prescribed fire of 120,000 acres per year on a military installation that's somewhere in the neighborhood of 300,000 acres. So they are absolutely just you know, knocking it out of the park as far as meeting their prescribed fire objectives. We start our burns uh, December 1, and we call those our winter burns, our dormant season burns. And those go through the end of February, and then March 1, we start our growing season burns, and they usually go to the 30th of June. Um, so we burn about seven months out of the year. Everybody here is, is a firefighter type two. And then we have probably 25 or 30 that are qualified on engines. Like I say, six or eight burn bosses. And then we have say 20 that are equipment operators that, that run the dozers and, and uh, the terror torch that we use on our burns. The mission on Fort Stewart for the Wildland Fire Program is to ensure that the military has readily available training access um, and to limit the amount of wildfires that start. So I maybe have mentioned before that we burn 115,000 acres to reduce the fuel loading essentially so that the military can use live fire training so that they're ready to defend America at a moment's notice. So forestry obviously manages the timber. We manage the wildland fire program. We also are burning for endangered species habitat. We have over 600 active breeding clusters of RCWs or red cacated woodpeckers here in Fort Stewart. We also have the Fish and Wildlife Branch. And they manage the actual the, the woodpeckers themselves. So working in partnership with them, um, typically forestry will come in and do a thinning and get it to appropriate basal area between 40 to 70 basal area. And then we'll come in and do a prescribed burn within the next year or two after the, uh, the timber harvest. And the Fish and Wildlife Branch will come in um, and insert cavity nest in the trees. And so they actually won't do inserts for the RCWs until forestry has pretty much made sure that there's appropriate habitat there for them to actually sustain themselves. And actually the Fish and Wildlife Branch have actually begun trapping and relocating those to other areas in the southeast that are needing help recover their RCW populations. We do a lot of training. Um, with 41 people, obviously people leave and people come, so we're just constantly doing training. Um, we focus on NWCGS courses. Um, we do a lot of on-hands training uh, in the field. So once someone's a firefighter type two, they're immediately put on the line and we burn so frequently that they quickly understand fire and able to, to climb the ladder. Uh, and like I say, the Fort Stewart folks just been really gracious in rolling out the red carpet. And you know, I think they're probably excited about people seeing what they've been doing here for years. I mean, they've had a successful prescribed fire program for decades here, but it, it just hasn't been widely known. Mm -hmm.